Hey, so this, this is me. Now you might be wondering how this happened. So let me tell you the story of how I won the Naga Expert Division as a white belt. Do not give up your back, do not give up your back. Push him forward, push him forward, push him forward. There you go, Jack, get with the leg. Uh, this story all starts me signing up for this competition and I see that on my side of the bracket there are two brown belts and my first match is against one of them. His name is Jack Stapleton who apparently my coach has gone against before and the one piece of advice he gave me was watch out for that flying stuff. So you already know it's going to be a fast paced match. There we go. Keep fighting that plane. Keep fighting that plane. The match starts off and my coach's advice is already coming in handy. Jack goes for a rolling Kimura, but he's not able to get the grip, so I can just come on top. That's a sweep for me, according to Naga, so I get two points. I try getting head control and going for a knee slice, but he's able to re-guard. He underhooks my leg to try entering into some leg lock position, so I drop my weight down to give him no room. Keep fighting that frame. Fight that frame right there. Careful with your right leg. Jack does a good job framing me away though, and I really start getting stressed about what he's going for. Jack starts unraveling his foot and going into my legs, but I'm able to control his far foot and start circling round into north-south. And then, as he defends, I jump over to the other side. He's like, nope, I'm not having that, and turns away from me, so I try jumping on his back. It doesn't work though, so I have to go back into the knee slice. I go the mount, and then as he tries bubbing me off, I go the knee on belly. I get four points for this. Try locking up a Kimura, but Jack starts escaping out through the back. Do not give your back. Do not give up your back. Do not give up your back. Having my back taken does not seem like a fun time, so I use my foot to push away. But as I try standing up, he drives forward, and I end up on bottom. He tries locking up a bylock, but I'm able to slither my arms in and bring my knees to my chest to lock up double under. Then I extend him out and switch to the shoulder crunch. I try swooping him to the right, but when that doesn't work, I push his head down and sweep him over to my left side. Jack bumps my weight forward and enters into honey hole. I'm like, oh crap. And I try sprawling my leg out, but it doesn't work. And he's able to put me on my butt and start chasing the heel hook. To defend, I start pushing on his thigh and try sucking my leg out. I get my leg free and we have a bit of a scramble. I pull guard and Jack jumps into the mouth. That was easy. But I frame away and enter into his legs. Oh <laughs> Careful with your own legs. Josh, 10 seconds left. Careful with your legs, Josh. Stay everything tight. Five seconds left, Josh. Keep tight, keep tight. Keep tight, keep tight, keep tight. Come oh. on, Josh. My next match is against Johnny Campbell. He's a Bellator MMA fighter and a brown belt in Jiu Jitsu. I start the match by pulling guard like the dirty guard puller I am. To be real, I really did not want to wrestle an MMA fighter. He hits me with an absolutely brutal can opener. Bruh. My back was in so much pain in the car ride home after this. I take a few slaps to the face. He gets a really annoying wrist grip and tries passing my guard. But I'm able to free my arm and post on his elbow to enter into his legs. He back steps around and tries crushing me. But I'm able to grab a heaven arm. Then I switch to the shoulder crunch to get the sweep. I start trying to knee slice. When I'm going for the knee slice, I'm trying to bring my head to his shoulder and get a head and arm so I can flatten him to the mat and pass his guard. He's trying to frame me away, so notice how my leg is based out far so it can help me drive into him. I try hitting a hip switch. Then I go back into the knee slice. I try going knee on belly, but he brings his knee in to recover guard. He hits a scissor sweep, leaving me on bottom. 
He tries pulling out of my guard and I hit a double ankle sweep. There was just one more match before I could get that coveted Naga belt. So who would my opponent be? He wasn't a purple belt. He wasn't a brown belt. And he wasn't a black belt either. No, he was scarier than all these things. He was a staller. So this stalling persisted on for a while. And the score just stayed 0-0. Until he got a point for the fakest submission attempt I've ever seen. My man was literally just overhooking my foot. But he still ended up getting a point. Now I'm down by one point in the final, but I'll lose everything I worked for. I have less than a minute to make something happen. I noticed that every time I collar tie him, he postures up and pulls out. So I collar tie him and then when he postures up, I go to a single leg. I go to trip him, but we end up just getting reset. I pull guard, though honestly I should have just wrestled at this point. But something crazy ends up happening. 30 seconds, you need two points! Get up. Josh, stand up! Stand up! Stand up! Super single! Stand up! Now! Do it now! Do it now! Yeah! Stay on top! Stay on top! With less than 30 seconds left, I end up getting the submission and winning the match. Oh, man! Woo! So that's the story of how I won Naga as a white belt. If you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe for that YouTube algorithm. You're a real one for making it to the end. I'll catch you next time. Peace.